Hi, first grade. This week, we have been learning patterns on the 100 chart. We learned that if we go up, we are subtracting 10. If we go down, we're adding 10 from the number. If we go back, we're subtracting one. And if we go forward one, we're adding one to the number we started with. We are going to use what we have learned about those patterns on the 100 chart to do a fun coding activity today. You are going to be using a 100 chart to solve a secret code. I will give you a number to start with. Pretend I say you're starting with 35, like this example right here. You're going to use either the markup tool or a drawing app on your iPad to make an X or a box around the number that you're starting with. So I made a box around the number 35 because I see down here that that's the number I'm starting with. Then you're gonna look at the bottom of the page and notice that here there are some blue arrows in all different directions. This is the code. My first step right here in the code is an arrow to the right. It's pointing to the right. So I'm gonna go to my number that I'm starting with 35 and I go one space to the right. The next part says go up, so I go up one, and then it says go right one, two, three spots. So I'm gonna go one, two, three spots to the right. Then it says go up one, and over one to the left, and down one. That's the last arrow, the last part of my code. So the number I'm ending on is 28. That's why I put a red box around it. So you can see that I started at 35 and I used the code to follow the direction on the 100 chart and I ended up at 28. This one is going to get you warmed up with moving around on the 100 chart with these arrows in the directions. The next one you're gonna do for your activity in math today is you're gonna have to apply what you've learned about adding and subtracting to solve the code. So your next one might look like this. Here's another code. It says here that we're gonna start at 24. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put a box around the number 24 on my chart, just like that. Now we have to remember which direction we use to add or subtract. Remember it says if we go right, I know I'm gonna be adding one. So here it says plus one. I'm going to go one over to the right. And I know I'm adding one, it goes from 24 to 25. If it says plus 10, I can look and remember, I can use my code to help me or I can just remember, I know that if I go down one on the hundreds chart, I know I'm adding 10. So I ended at 25, I'm gonna go down one to 35. Remember it, when we're adding 10, our ones place stays the same, so it's still five, but my two changes is two with three. I added one in the tens place. My next part of the code says add one. So I'm gonna go one to the right. Oops, I'm gonna do blue. Then it says add 10 again, so I'm going to go down 1 from 36. 36 plus 10 is 46. Then I'm going to add 1 again, 46 over to the right, 47. Now I'm going to add 10 two times, plus 10, plus 10, 47, oops, my goodness. 57, 67, I went down two times, so I added 20 total. 10 to 57, 20 to 67. And then my last part of my code says minus one. That means I'm gonna go left one on my code. 67 minus one is 66. That is the last part of the code, which means I start at 24 and I end at 66. So I'm gonna write 66 in my finish box for my code. This is what you're going to be doing today. You have one example that you're solving a code with blue arrows, which means you are going to be moving around in different directions. 
Then you're going to have a second example that you're solving and it's going, the code is going to tell you either plus one, minus one, plus 10 or minus 10. You need to use your knowledge of adding and subtracting to figure out your ending spot for your code today. Then you're going to take a screenshot of both of your finished examples and upload them to Schoology today. When you're finished, you should have a start box, an end box, and you should have your trail for where you traveled on the chart. You should also write your finishing number in the bottom right box. That's how you know you have completed your problem. I can't wait to see you guys crack the code. Have fun.